What's up YouTube, I'm just another guy and welcome back to Gibraltar United. So here we are today in the Champions League second qualifying phase. And everyone who watches these videos knows how important it is that we beat HJK. And how rare it is or how unlikely it is that we'll come up against teams or an easier team than HJK as an unseeded team. So it is important that we get a result today and it's important that we show we have the ability to beat HJK. Also, we are favourites going into this game, so it is really important that we can live up to our favourites tag that we've been given. So, continuing forward, 2,000 people will rock up today. And uh, this is the starting lineup. Of course, Perez, Morgan, Alvaro all are injured, which means Sacconi comes in for a debut at centre-back. And Werner also comes in at a debut in centre-mid. Elsewhere, Flint and Saidi, I believe it's pronounced Benjamin Saidi, uh, they're... They'll be featured in the team as well. Uh, they could all be coming. They could all make a potential debut today. It's highly unlikely. Ideally, I would like to keep Rob Flint on the bench, not because I don't like him, but just because if I if he comes on, something has happened in the defence quite catastrophic. And of course, we don't want that. I'm shaking my head to try and emphasise how bad I don't want that. And um, but yeah, apart from that, you know, it's not ideal, but it's the best we can do. It's the best we can muster up right now. So let's go. Let's go into this. No time like the present. The tactic we're playing is the same we would normally play um, in the league, in the previous round of the cup competition, etc., etc. Uh, you can have 25, Flinty Boy. You can have, I guess you can have, no, not five. Five's more of a starting number. Um, you can have 24, I guess, as well. Uh, you can have, like, 26. No, you meant to have 26. And uh, CD, you can have, like, 11, because you're going to be our backup striker if you're here. So, big pressure, but... Our players need to step up. According to Jamie Lopez from Football Gibraltar, it's an even match. He reckons a draw is going to be most likely. A, a, a goalless draw, I'd be happily, I would be happy with. A scoring draw, not so much. In, in order of what I want, it's a win with no goals conceded. A win with a goal conceded. A scoreless draw, a draw, a defeat. You know, that's that's the order pretty much and what I want, of what I want. And they've come out there with a 4-4-2. Uh, so they're matching us really with formation wise. So it's just going to be who's, who's really got the better players and who's got the slightly better team instructions, player instructions on. Let's, let's hope it's us. You know, let's, let's hope it is. So we had the first shot of the game and apparently that was a half chance, which we were unable to get on target. HJK have also had their first shot of the game. So currently even. Eight minutes in though, first highlight of the match. Sanchez back to Montgomery. The ball's whipped in, but unable to find a red and white shirt. And HJK could be on a counter attack here. There are red shirts back, but uh, they're looking very dangerous. And if it wasn't for a brilliant clearance by our left back, they would have been through there. But they're still on the attack and they go through on a second time. This time he's offside, plus he hit the post anyway. But good build-up play from HJK and they're quite unlucky not to actually be through. Albi with an absolutely brilliant last second interception for their original build-up. And yet again, HJK are on the attack. And this time they hit the crossbar and we clear it away. Um, what about to say? They're offside again, but it wasn't. It was Sanchez, one of our previous attacks off camera. And it's again HJK on the attack, yet to make us pay for their half-decent chances. And um, trying to put pressure on them as much as we can. They get through, and this time they do manage to find the back of the net. It's Hannah Han Komaki, I think it's pronounced maybe. I'm not too sure. With the goal, it's their first click opportunity of the game, and they managed to score it. And you know what? We've been quite poor in this half. And I'm going to I'm gonna say that aggressively as well. I like being aggressive with my team. Not good enough. Turn it around. Go out there and play much better standard of football. We are favourites. And right now we're not looking it. And they're on they had a set piece. But they didn't do anything with it. Montgomery, come on. Find the right pass. Keep. No. Keep hold of the fucking ball. It's not hard. You were in no real trouble there. You could have played it to the guy next to you. Made a little run. And he could have returned the ball back to you. Good challenge. First time round, almost though, f allowing a guy to score in an open goal. I hate it when that happens, when the slide tackle just happens to roll to the perfect guy in a perfect position. Everyone is looking nervous. We're going to have to do another team talk. I'm going to have to calmly tell the lads that there is no pressure. Come on. You know, I feel like I shouldn't be saying this in a game where we're favourites. Calm down, lads. Come on. Keep playing football. Going to have to make some subs. We're going to take Miller off, bring Saidi on. Because, let's face it, nothing really good enough so far. Uh, Montgomery's not really done anything. We're going to actually put Moody out on the right and play Kirby out on the left. 
and uh, we'll give these guys team talks as well. Um, a lot to come to you tonight. I'm I'm sure you have what it takes. Everyone's looking frustrated now. Jesus Christ, what is with my team's body language today? Um, team talk. Passionately encourage. Come on. Go out there and do something. We've done nothing this game. We've not had a a chance highlight worthy for the whole match. Here's a chance. Sanchez, set piece. Hits the crossbar. Oh my god, Sacconi, what is your head? Bent or something? How did you miss that rebound? Good collection from Smith there, but oh my god, Sacconi missed a brilliant chance. Apparently it wasn't a half chance or a click opportunity. But from the rebound, it looked like he should have headed it in. I guess Sanchez's chance was the main chance they were focusing on. His Saidi to Sanchez. And Ojeda to Kirby. Plays the ball to Sanchez. A little bit behind him, but it's still good enough. Nope. He's been dispossessed, actually. It's not. And now they're going through on goal. And no. Good save from Smith. And we also earn ourselves a free kick. But you know what? For the last 13 minutes of the match, we need to be going into the next game with at least something. I'm going to go attacking. And I'm also going to tell the lads... Wait, let's see what actually, before I do a team talk, is Moody on that left-hand side, culling into his left foot, and you know what, not a bad shot, but not good enough really either. Um, show some passion, come on. You're nervous, but you shouldn't be. It's a Champions League game, yes, it's probably our biggest game, yes, but come on. Oh God, that's the last thing we needed. Moody off injured, which means Jamie Carroll... Is coming on on that right midfield role. Jesus Christ almighty. If that's another injury that's actually long term. Oh God. We lose 1-0. Apparently a wonder goal was what separated us. But really not good enough. But there is still a chance. It's only 1-0. It does mean we have to score in the next game. But it's, it's not particularly great. Finding it tough. Apparently, he's gone a goal drought. When's, when's the last time he scored? I didn't even know that. Must have been a while. That's not good. Um, but, yep, we've lost this game. But you know what? It's not all over. It is not all over. We've still got a chance. I'm still going to be. Off, I'm still going to remain optimistic. And hopefully, in the second leg, we can turn it around. Come on, I believe. 10,000. 248 people will hopefully be here today to witness us get past the second qualifying phase because I'm sick and tired of this. 1-0 down, let's turn this around. Bang, get into this. Miller is out injured. God damn it, I didn't realise that. He's out for two to three weeks, which means Saeed, who has not scored in a long, 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 long time, of course, is going to have to play today. It also means Fernandez comes to, comes onto the bench. And also Perez, despite the fact not being fully fit, I'm going to put him on the bench. Came back from... Oh, he's back at light training. He'll be back at full fitness in four days. But, again, same sort of principle with Flint. Hopefully, we won't have to bring anyone on because defensively, we won't play badly. Hopefully. Elsewhere, a few changes to the tactic. I took a few instructions off. We no longer whip crosses in and we no longer play wider. But apart from that, it is an unchanged tactic and, and an unchanged team apart from the one you saw there. And uh, they reckon a shootout is what will happen. They reckon despite the fact we lost in the first leg, uh, that we'll get back into it and we'll get ourselves in the game. So they're playing a 4-5-1 or a 4-3-3 variation. And um, don't really want to see that. I don't know, actually. Maybe. I don't know. It depends. We could win the midfield battle, the fact that they've got... The fact that we love two centre mids. But no, no. We did not want to fall 1-0 down in less than one fucking minute. Are you joking me? Come on, team. We're going attacking. We're going attacking from the third minute. Oh, you're fucking kidding. He's offside. Oh, my God. I was about to go apeshit crazy at Smith. Albi. To Ojeda. To Moody. Playing the ball to Saidi. To Ojeda. Somehow misses that chance. Saidi. Sanchez scores. I think he may be offside. No, he isn't. He's onside. Good goal. Somehow. Good goal. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, hey, this somehow missed. Um, Sadie did the right thing playing it to Montgomery. Montgomery took a little bit too long, for my liking, to, pay, like, play it off to lay it off to Sanchez or take the shot or something. But 1-1. One, one. Sanchez to... Oh, either way, we've got the ball through. Albi's been brought down, but nothing's been given. And now we've got to get back in position. We've got to reshape. Get the boy Bondo. Smith to Sacconi. Alright, we've got regained control of the ball and I'm 
we're looking pretty confident with it right now. Montgomery, good simple ball. Here's to Moody, stretching their defence. They're all over the place at the back. Montgomery back in. Saidi with the goal. Get in there. Come on. Woo. Fucking hell. We've turned this around very, very quickly now. I'm staying on attacking. I want the third. I want it badly. If we get that goal advantage... If we, <laughs> if we get that goal advantage and the away goal advantage, then we look safe. I'll go back to control. But for now, I'm not safe. I want the third whilst we're on top. I say on top. Currently, HJK are through and they fucking score. And that one's not offside that time. So we do need the third now. I should have switched back to control. Fuck. Yeah. Come on, Gibraltar United. We've done it already. We've done it twice already. Do it again. One more time. Get a goal. Time flying now. This is what we really needed after our second goal. This is before half time. Do they want to get another one? Ideally not. Ideally not. Headed away. Moody, Sanchez. Maybe we could even get the equalizer before half time. Saidi. Been brought down, but Moody still the ball. Moody threw, got threw on goal. Moody with the goal. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Come on. Fucking 3-2 on the day. Very lucky with the tackle there that it fell, fell through. But still, Moody had a lot to do when he picked up the ball. We skipped over the challenge and he played it past the keeper at the near post. Good team talk from the lads. Um, Ibondo should, should be doing a lot better, but I don't want to pick on individual people while we're currently winning. Shit, I want to change it to control whilst we were there. I'm going to go back into control a bit different than what I said a second ago because I want to go through and I'm not very consistent right now. Um, but come on. This could be it. Come on. Boring second half. Boring second half. No highlights apart from this one and the 90th minute. Oh, he's off. Get him off, ref. Ref. Referee, I love you right now. Get in there. HJK down to 10 men. They've made the change. I don't know what formation they're currently going to be playing because they can't play for. I mean, I don't even know what they're doing right now. Maybe one up front. Maybe a 4-3-1-1. Something like that. Sanchez can't get it in. Moody somehow misses an open goal. Unlucky. I think it was on his weaker right foot. I'm not too sure. Uh, Saidi to Moody. Unable to get it in. Van almost scoring. Montgomery Sanchez with the goal. <sighs> oh. 4-2 on a day. 4-3 on aggregate. Keeper with a good save from a very surprising shot from Werner. Montgomery very unselfishly playing it to Sanchez. Just like he did for the first goal. Giving us a 4-2 lead. And look at Montgomery's performance. You could say he was the worst guy on our team. Today he's currently the best. And that 10 man. That man advantage should hopefully pay off now. As Moody makes it 5 they're clearly going to be going for it, and I think that's why we got this fifth one. Moody gets a goal for his really good efforts today. He scored, of course, at the end of the first half, but he, he's been helping a lot with his attacks down the left. I'm pretty sure he's been involved in every goal in one in in a shape or form, and um, it's you know he's got a second to his name now, maybe even going for a hat-trick for himself. HJK trying to find a way back into the game. What a crazy second leg to be 5-2. Especially when it started off in the first 40 seconds. Us falling 1-0 down. Good clearance away by Sacconi. Sanchez. Oh, should have scored that one. Really should have. Should have made them pay. Alright, let's take Sacconi off and bring Perez on. Um, this is just so Perez can get a little bit of game time. Nothing more than that. And apart from that, we'll keep everyone the same. I know who we could potentially be getting in the next round, but I'm not even going to say it yet because I do not want to spoil it. <laughs> we'll see at the end. You know, we'll see at the end of the video if we can get through. Ten minutes, well, nine minutes remaining now. HJK. Oh my God, Verana just shot. Looked like he shoved the guy to the ground. And Saidi, who scored one of the goals today, playing it to Ibondo out on that right hand side. Montgomery. To Ojeda and Montgomery gets, I think, his third assist of the day. And Ojeda gets his first goal of the season. Eight clear opportunities we've had. And we've taken six. I don't know if that was all six of them. But we've taken six chances today. Really, really good going forward. 
and we have embarrassed HJK. They get they get themselves a third. They make it four six on aggregate, but with your away goals now towards us, heavily in our favour, it's it's game over. It's it's been game over for a long time since we got that you know that f that fourth. It, it it was over fourth or third. Now once we got our four, yeah, once we got our fourth, yeah, well, that was it. So look. Well done, lads. First time we have ever got through to the third qualifying phase. You don't know how immense this is. Come on. We are going to get a lot of money this year. Get in there. Looks like there was a lot of sendings off today in the Champions League. Wow, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sendings off in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 games. That's not right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, 17 games. So nearly half the games had sendings off, which is very strange. Very strange. And in fact, everyone who got, some, got a man sent off, I think, lost. Apart from Malmo. Malmo continued through. Yeah, only Malmo with the team to get a man sent off and still go on to win their game. But who will we be playing in the next round? I'm looking at them. I know their result already. Overterm, a first leg deficit. We're through to the for the first time ever to the Champions League third qualifying phase. And the thing is, it's the first time the board had ever expected us to get to that stage. So we've stepped up now. That is brilliant. Honest to God, it is. Um... It's been really good for the supporters, and hopefully they'll claim a few bragging rights. Of course, we played HJK now four times, and on that occasion, it was the first time we've ever beaten them at four attempts. Really good. Um, it was great to score just before half-time. He was flawless today. It was absolutely terrific. Didn't talk about Montgomery, which I'm, I'm surprised with. But we will be playing in the next round, Dynamo from Croatia. Yes, it is going to be a very tough game. We have played them before, have we not? I think we have at this stage, at the second qualifying phase, I should say. We did. We played them back in 2018. And on that time, we lost 6-0 and 5-2. So, again, it's been a long time since that day where we lost. And on that day, we, we had a completely... Or you can't see it from there. They're going 2018 on my one. Uh, but since that day where we lost 6-0, every player in that starting eleven, apart from Montgomery, will be won't be in that team. In fact, Montgomery will be the only survivor from that whole team to still be playing in that game. Terry Brown, did he feature in that match? He did. He'll probably be on the bench still. Uh, I don't think Alvaro is back. No, he's still two, three weeks. The game is taking place in a week's time. I'll actually get rid of that Europa Point match. Uh, something I didn't talk about as well is before this game, we did play Panathinaikos at home. And the only reason I did that and I kept it in was because of the money it brought in. The gate receipts were just too high to turn down. I played a youth squad. Everyone played. We played the complete youth team and we actually drew to them 2-2. We were battered, obliterated and absolutely embarrassed. But um, somehow mustered up a 2-2 draw, which I'm really proud with. I'm, I'm happy with how the youth boys performed. But yeah, Dynamo. We're not favourites, we're massive underdogs here, but we could maybe look to use that. Who knows? Either way, guys, this will be it for now. Next time I will meet you back will be the third qualifying phase. Thank God for that. So, until then, guys, peace out.